Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another session at APM where we discuss all things business and how the era of the remote worker is affecting us in, in both operational and, and our day-to-day -day personal lives. Um, today we're going to quickly take a look at, at the coming months from a planning perspective and what do we need to consider when we think about our businesses as a remote workforce? So on the line, I've got Tim Rosser, COO of ABM Systems, and Lindy Miller, uh, FBNA practice lead, both who've been helping clients uh, with planning scenarios for for a long time and with great success. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. So, Tim, the first question is for you. Um, the world's moving quite quickly now, right? And everybody's thinking about how, how do we navigate the coming months. From a planning perspective, what's your advice to business? Well, when thinking about planning, I first like to get people to consider why they do planning in normal times before you try and pivot this. And in normal times, you'll have a plan that's trying to optimise profit and grow at a sustainable pace so you don't run out of cash. And, and planning is to get everybody on the same page. So if, if you're expecting a, a growing workforce, you've got um, the support for that workforce, more office space, more IT, those kinds of things. Um, and so the whole organization can work together. Now, in volatile and uncertain times like now, you're trying to achieve the same outcomes. You wanna be optimizing your situation um, spending cash wisely without going broke and getting everybody on the same page. It's just that the information and the plan may change every week, but so it becomes even more critical to have a really flexible, powerful tool where you can update that plan and say, okay, well, we had a budget, you know, we set back in May last year, but here's the situation we're in now. Here's what we're expecting from the market. Here's what we're expecting from our customers. Here's what we're doing with our workforce. Um, let's, let's adjust that plan. So, Look, I think the same goals still apply. It's just much more short term now. Okay. All right. Um, thanks, Tim. And and Lindy, a question for you. I mean, we're on limited time, so a question for you. Remote workforce. Uh, we, I've had this discussion with a couple of clients now, where they're already thinking, well, what what happens if we just keep our people working remotely? So, if we had to think about the coming months with the remote workforce, what's your opinion, and how do you see? the remote workforce impacting our ability to save money because everybody's going to want to save some money over the next coming months. Yes, I think, and, and just looking at our own scenario, we, we found that maybe just looking back on what we have available in terms of, of just office space, that we could potentially save just by, by reducing the, the overhead cost that we have associated with having that floor space. Um, I think everybody is making the investment now and having this the ability to have a remote workforce. and. And I think a lot of organisations will be rethinking the basic requirements in terms of that overhead commitment that you're making for infrastructure, office space, and um, everything else that's associated with having having a, a big office. So I think this is an opportunity for organisations to rethink the way that they plan for their workforce, to reassess um, how they want to set up the, the workforce going forward. And I think that there's definitely opportunities to, to drive some savings in that space. Okay, cool. Thanks, everyone. So I know, Lindy, you've put out some material around how we can address the rapid planning scenario. Um, I'm going to add the links to that content uh, in this blog post. Um, guys, thank you so much for your time. It's always good to chat to you. Uh, we haven't seen each other in quite a while. Um, but yeah, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and chat to you again. See you Thanks, when it's over. Bye.